Right, it's round four time. I'm one and two, which is bad, but in theory, if I win the next fire six in a row, I can qualify, so. <laughs> We're still playing. Um, oh, wait, no, that's not wanted, sorry, I like this. Um, now I press plus, we'll start. One, 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 nine, oh, six, six. Right, the battle, let's go. Oh. I forgot to fill up my water, oops. Okay. Um, this is definitely a Grim Snow game. I'm tempted to go Grim P2 here. But at the same time, I think a back end trick remote might work better for me in case they leave, like, Clefairy Glass or something. Um, not a big fan of Feeny in this matchup. Um, I mean, into a Lecky and, and, and River is just bad. I think I like Selly Snarl here. It's my best cover for um, Horse Lead. Um, gives me an advantage. I, I, I think this lead covers pretty much anything, especially if I bring Marowak in the back. I, mean, I think my back end's always going to be Marowak P2 here. I don't see a world in which I bring Garch onto this. Um, just doesn't have any damage output against a lot of it. Um, I also don't like Feeny. Yeah, I think this is this is pretty solid. Um, Feeny doesn't really do much for me here. <sighs> There's no fighting move on the horse as well, which is worth noting, so... It's going to have a hard time getting through P2. Uh, it does have Sword Stance, I guess, but like... I've always got the option of going turn one, just like fake his Steel Spike into Horse, if they lead Clef Horse. There's no way they lead Clef Horse into this, though. Um, absolutely no shot they lead Clef Horse. Um... So I think I th honestly think Rillaboom, uh, not Rillaboom, uh, Celestia deals with pretty much anything my opponent has here. Especially with Marowak to support in the back. Um, they go Clef Selly, okay. Uh, that's fine. I don't know if I max here. Pretty sure I set light screen. Um, I'm just going to flash cannon the clef, honestly. Um. If they immediately rip Dynamax and Celesteela, then I have a chance to um, bring my P2 at the back end to set Trick Room. Um. And if I get Trick Room up, I think Marrow I should just run through this. Um. Okay, they max their Selly turn one. They could be going for Helping Hand Steel Spike into um, into my Grim, which would be a bit annoying. Um, but again, I think that's fine. I'm going to bring P2 and Trick Room. Yeah, they are just going Helping Hand. I'm guessing Steel Spike then into Grim Snarl. I get my Light Screen up. <sighs> could have just gone Fake Tears. Would have been sick. Ah, uh, no, I think Light Screen's more valuable here. I know I'm 100% dead to this, but. Fine. Um, room goes down. Nah, that's kind of whatever, honestly. Like, Selly's just not really doing much damage here. Like, they pick up the immediate KO, which is good for them, but. Uh, oh, beast boost. Okay. Okay, it's either a speed tie or they're timid. Um, <laughs> not a massive fan of either scenario, personally, but. Yeah, there's, there's no way they can kill P2 through um, through screen, sir. I don't think they kill Selly either, to be honest. Um, helping and Flare into AV Selly? No, not a chance. This also gives me a special attack boost, which is nice. That's because they boosted their defense. So I just, I just flash cannon trick from here, right? Pretty sure they don't break my... Um, pretty sure they don't break my Selly with this. I'm going to go Helping Hand Flare. Um, and it is a speed tie, so I get my I get my flash cannon off first anyway. Nice. Um, 
thing is, if they flare, they just power up my Marowak. <laughs> Which is fine. They do go flare. Okay. Okay, that does kill. Kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh, they crit me, that's why. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, that's never killing if it doesn't crit. Not even close. Because they were... Well, mm, they were plus one, but then screens are up and helping hand is active. Yeah, that never kills. Absolutely never kills unless they crit me. God damn it. Oh, what is it with me and being crit in Players' Cup? Oh, really moves fine. Wait, no, this is absolutely fine. Um, in comes Whack. Does some boosted Whack just straight up murder Celesteela? I mean, uh, I mean, a flare will definitely kill. Like a, a max flare, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. Um, so sun boosted, and they're at plus one defense. And they're like insanely bulky set. Oh, they're so dead. They are beyond deceased. Goodbye. Thanks for the sun. Uh, I guess it's just like being Rilla Boom. Good fake out or protect here with Rilla, but I'm just going to eliminate their Dynamax from existence. I feel like that seems like the most sensible course of action here. Actually, them picking up the KO on my Selly might have actually been better for me there, weirdly. As strange as that sounds, that may have actually been the best possible outcome for me. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, okay, I get big whack. And Selly is about to get bigly whacked. Um, Yeah, you need a pretty significant amount of bulk in Celly to have a chance of surviving this. This is not a trivial hit, and we know for a fact it's max speed and modest. So I feel like this is just going to be a dead Celly, right? Adios. Absolutely destroyed. Let's go Marowak. Um, I guess Rilla's going for a wood hammer here. But like, plus one ice beams can do a decent chunk to this. Holy crap, that just kills. Okay, I crit them back. <laughs> Call it even. Um, I think that one mattered as well, honestly. They're not assault vests, so maybe it didn't. Um, I'm offensive P2, because I'm running an offensive P probably on 2 set. Um, oh, okay, never mind. That never kills. Um... Uh, I guess that's not a really bulky set, but yeah, that's game. My opponent cannot win this now. Tech punch is not going to do that much, yeah. Be gone. Mm -hmm. Well, that's game one. Um, game one to me. Right. Hmm. <sighs> I think I should bring the same four again, right? I don't see much reason to vary it. I mean, how do they change up to get around a Selly Grimmsnarl lead here? Hmm. I think I should do the same again, right? I don't know if I could just go Grimstall P2 and go to Light Screen Trick from turn 1. No, I like the offensive presence that, that Selly brings. Like it, it threatens to just eliminate 
Clefairy, turn one. Which is pretty handy. Um, like, I can, I'm content to just go for the same passages of play. Um, here. Like, they, they didn't get any advantage out of KOing my Grimstall turn one. Like, I'm, I'm content to just play the, the game out the exact same way, if needs be. Yeah. Mm. They just go Clef Selly again. I mean... I feel like I'm perfectly content to just do the same thing, right? Um, what counterplay do they have to that? The only way they get around that is if they protect Clef. Um, and if they protect Clef, they don't pick up the Kale and Grimstone, and I just swing at them next turn. This is fine. I'm pretty sure this is just completely fine. Um, okay, they max their Selly again. They won't kill me without a helping hand here. I guess they could have brought... Uh, they could have adjusted by doing the same thing but bring Glastria back end. Um, but if that's the case, I don't think I care that much. Um, they just go helping hand again. Okay. Um, light screen comes out. Real good damage there. And then just go for Steel Spike again, sure. Um, do I think Airstream picks up Clef from here? Because if it does, I could try and get a bit funky with it. Um, so what they had in the back last time, they had Rillaboom and they had um, Ursh, right? Special attack boost, fine. So I'm going to do the same, I'm, I'm going to bait them into thinking I'm going for the same pattern again. Um, This will give me a special attack boost, but instead I'm going to go turbo. Um, yeah, I'm just going to airstream into the uh, clef, and I'm going to... I guess the only way this doesn't work is if clef protects, and in which case I, I just go ice beam Sally. Potentially gives me a chance to freeze, gives you some chip damage if nothing else. Um, like, it's not much chip damage, but it's some chip damage. Um... I don't know if they have any reason to go for... I don't think they want to go for a... Oh, uh, wait, no, they could protect Clef, actually, yeah. <sighs> maybe this wasn't the smartest move, so if they protect Clef, I'm maybe not in the best box. They can follow me next turn. Um, I guess it lets me keep speed control, though. No, let's go helping hand, okay. This is perfect, though. Um, they win the speed tie, it's irrelevant. They do go after P2, which makes sense. Um... Okay, that did a bit more than I wanted it to, I'll be honest. I guess I probably could have pressed recover in case of that, but it seems so dumb to press recover, like, in case they hit P2 and also they win the speed tie. Okay, cleft drops. Um. Okay, now my Sally's getting set up. Um. I have the ring in now. Urshifu, maybe? Ice Beam, Freeze. Eh, it's damaged, I'll take it. Um, like, their back end, I think, is either Earth Rilla or Glastria. Yeah, it's Rilla. Do they protect Rillaboom here? I feel like I still just airstream the Rillaboom regardless, right? because then Selly's small again, uh, and I just recover. So if they protect Rillaboom, I get recover off with P2, and they don't pick anything up with Selly this turn. And if they do... Uh, and if they don't protect Rillaboom, they lose Rillaboom. 
and then I hit them with plus two max flare. Um, which actually probably wouldn't kill. Maybe that wouldn't be the right play. I guess my only worry is if they've adjusted and brought horse in the back, but if they brought horse in the back, I can just steal spike that next turn. Or whenever it comes in, and that should kill it. Um, so they do protect Rillaboom, that's fine. Um, I get an airstream off, so I keep speed control. Which is super useful. Whoop. Big damage. Um... I mean, that's dead to an Ice Beam now. Um, like, that's super dead to an Ice Beam, which means that this next turn I can go first. So I get my recover off, yeah. Good stuff. Um, and they do go for an Estrian, that makes sense. But, yeah, I don't know that makes a difference. That's not going to do very much. Yeah, I'm not in Glide Range there. Not even close. Um, so I think what I can do now is just flare the Celesteela and Ice Beam the Rillaboom. Um... So I'm plus one special attacks, it really is dead to Ice Beam, and then I just get a bunch of damage down on Selly. Oh, I'm only plus one though, actually, this won't kill Celesteela. Maybe it's worth going for the Airstream into Rillaboom. Well, actually, it's probably better to go Flare into Rillaboom. Because uh, that gives me my special attack boost, lets me recover again with P2, and it sets the sun up so I can blast their. Um, they're Selly next turn instead with a, a plus two sun boosted flamethrower. They withdraw Selly into its Urshifu. Okay, well, I'm faster than their Ursh now. They do go glide. Um, I care little for that. Uh, and I get a flare off. Okay. Boop. Big damage. Okay, so it is a plus two. And I recover again. Ah, I should have gone for a try attack there. Maybe. Um, uh, actually, mm, no, this doesn't take me out of close combat range, does it? Because I don't have a steel spike boost. That's a little annoying. But... I mean, I, I think I just go air slash here and flinch and try and. Ah, do I go for the flinch? I've even sent the sun boost, but I've removed all their other boosts. Or is it better to go to Selly here? Does plus two sun boosted flamethrower kill the Celestealer? Because he's got no spidef boosts. Um, oops. Celestealer. Oops. Against another Celestealer. Celestealer. Uh, flamethrower. Stick a sun boost on it. Steal plus two. Oh, yeah, that's dead. Um, so I think my best play here is actually just to flamethrower the Celestealer. Um, and then... Ah, uh, Peter has to be the Urshfree, though, doesn't it? So I don't think I... Yeah, I just try to take the Ursh and flamethrower the Selly. Selly's got chip damage on it as well. Like, plus two flamethrower in Sun, I'm pretty sure is going to kill. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's game. Okay. So they are going close combat. My P2's faster than Urshfree, uh, plus two speed. And I think try attack will put it down to Sash, and then it's... Yeah, Urshfree can't, can't solo this. Okay, it's not quite down to Sash, but... Oh, there's a good Wicked Boy. I guess it makes sense, but... Because Selly is kind of the threat there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess if they go Flamethrower Wicked Blow into Celestine, and I don't pick up their Selly there for some reason, then potentially they could win that, but I've, I've just got so many avenues, I think, to, to take the game. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I just go Flash Gun. Actually, technically, Flamethrower is stronger because uh, of the Sun Boost. Um, but yeah, that's the game. All right. And that's GG. Suck a bunch into Selly. Doesn't even kill, let's go. <laughs> it's just insult to injury, isn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah, Selly was just a monster, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was smart adaptation game too. Um, I think from me. Because um, my opponent, I think played out as if I'd play the same way in game two as in game one. Um, but yeah, I just played to a different endgame. I didn't even need Marak in the end. Um, cool. Um, 
Right, two and two. Now I only need five in a row. <laughs> it's not likely, but it's possible. We'll see. Right, I guess I will see you guys next time.